What's up, Juice fam? Happy Wednesday. Today we've got some fun stuff on the agenda. We're going to be testing out Samick's new four quart food processors. Really lightweight, very truck friendly. It'll be fun to play with. They sent that over a week ago, two weeks ago. We unboxed it in the collective and now we're finally getting a chance to bust it out. After we do that, we are going to make our mango pineapple carrot recipe, make a big batch of that. I busted out a ton of juice yesterday. A pulp pickup today. These are the survivors from yesterday's crew. Produce has been showing up really late on Wednesdays, so yesterday I just made a Kroger run and stocked the fridge really well so we didn't get caught with a low stock this morning while we wait on produce. Get this little guy sanitized, fully dishwasher safe. They don't launch this until October, so we're just kind of testing it out for them. It's gonna look really good next to the M1, mini M1. If you haven't had a chance yet to check out the Joy in Juice line, it has officially launched. It's in a little banner down below. I launched it on Instagram about a week ago. You can shop over there, or you can shop the link down in the description. It's got a bunch of fun stuff. Check it out, grab yourself a hoodie. It's finally hoodie season. It's freezing in here. I need to get the dishwasher running, my little heater. It gets really cold in here in the winter. Pineapple beet, lemon ginger shots, really good. Eight ounces. This guy weighs a solid five. It's solid stainless steel, obviously, which is great for longevity. We've had this thing for five years, six years, all the way back from the CT7. Eight pounds, two and a half pounds. Definitely truck friendly. That's why we say truck friendly because it's so light. I am aware of how extremely blessed we are. If you would have told me seven years ago that our kitchen would look like this, if you would have shown me like a picture, I would have said no. Get our cashews soaking for the frosting. Noticing this cool little edge here that mixes, so instead of the big uh, kind of spatula that's on this guy, it's just got these little nubs here that scrape the side of the bowl. All right, gonna do a quick cleanup. I'm gonna get these portioned out and in the fridge, then we'll make the mango juice and come back to these at the end of the day. We're all cleaned up here. Always surprises me how long it takes to make these donuts. We're gonna do the mango tomorrow. If you're not, you will see the mango. I juiced mango in my last video if you want to go watch that on YouTube. We've been using this Samic Immersion Blender. Samic is taking care of us, y'all. They sent this over maybe a year ago, and I always use it for our frosting, as well as um, mixing in ingredients for bigger batches in the beverage dispenser. It's just an immersion blender. Half the maple, I've told myself that three times today. Half the maple, half the maple, half the maple, and the lemon donut frosting. If you have our recipe ebook, 
half the maple for the frosting. Got all our frosting ingredients in the Pyrex. This is my super technical process that I have yet to replicate. Hopefully today the frosting turns out incredible and we have officially dialed it in. I have the maple syrup in the recipe ebook, so it's a third cup maple. Everything else is right on. This should work. I don't heat up the coconut oil. I leave it at room temperature. Um, that way everything just blends together from the heat of the immersion, immersion, immersion blender. We'll see how this goes. Beautiful. Holding a peak there. It's like meringue. We're not making meringue, Lauren. Stiff peak. We still have yet to receive our pumpkin seeds from FedEx. It's been like a month. People are going through unicorn juice withdrawals and coffee withdrawals. We need our pumpkin seeds. We got our cashews yesterday, which is why I'm making these donuts today, but no pumpkin seeds. Mom was talking to the FedEx guy and he said he was from Cleveland, which is a few hours north, northeast. He said he was here helping get them caught up, so hopefully soon. We'll get back to coffee and unicorn. The problem with the extra maple in there is they don't set up to a nice hard frosting. They stay ooey gooey, which can be annoying from a consumer perspective. You want that nice hard frosting experience. And this frosting is so good. <laughs> like dip some strawberries in this. Call it a day. Mission successful. We'll take a beautiful photo of those, get them up on social media. Alexa, play Christmas music. We have to go to the pumpkin patch and do pumpkin stuff first. I've done that. Jordan just skipped Thanksgiving and went straight to Christmas. Oh, Christmas music! Exactly. I've been working so much lately. I can barely find. Thank you, Samick, for sending over the new food processor. We love it. We'll definitely put it through its paces. And for the immersion blender, we get a lot of use out of all of our Samick goods. We will see you guys on the next video. If you're looking for our full menu, the lemon donut recipe is in our recipe ebook, as well as 30 plus of all of our best selling recipes. And uh, these are tried and true tested recipes, recipes we've been serving for years. We give you uh, all the uh, measurements, all the yields, uh, so you can easily scale recipes to fit whatever size batch you need. There's also a section in there where you can build your own juice you know exactly how much produce to use and what yield you can expect to get so definitely check that out if you got the recipe ebook we'll see you guys on the next one bye it is amazing mm. Mm. she's really enjoying it wow. she's eating the frosting <laughs> Woo -hoo.